Hello everyone, it's Jared again. And I was asked recently on the forums by user Swift Illusion how to compile iTween for a different engine version than I have made available. I normally only compile for the last release version, and as of January 31st, 2014, um, that was 4.6.1. 4.7 is in preview right now, and if you want to use 4.7 preview, um, which I have not compiled for, then you're going to have to compile it yourself. Um, so to do that, you're going to need a few things. First is the new engine version that you want to compile for, obviously. And second is Visual Studio 2013. Now you can get um, Visual Studio 2013 Express, which is free for everyone, but does not allow the use of extensions. But we're not going to be using extensions in um, this tutorial, so you don't have to worry about it. Uh, you can get Visual Studio 2013 Pro, which is uh, paid software, or you can get Visual Studio 2013 Community, which is the same thing as Pro, but is only available to people who are of a company size that is small enough and makes under a certain threshold of income. Um, that is most indie developers. Uh, so you might as well go with Express, uh, not Express, I'm sorry, you might as well go with Community since it has all the features of Pro and is free as long as you meet the requirements. Um, so we're going to be using that today. So uh, what you need to do really is create a new C++ project and we'll just throw um, iTween in there and recompile. That's all it is really. So you're going to need to go to the new engine version that you want to compile for. I only have 4.6.1 installed, so that's what we're going to use. But you can use any engine version for this. So go ahead and launch that. You can see all of my projects in the background here. I have one called Cool Project. Yep, that's me. As soon as that opens up, go to New Project, go to C++, Go to basic code and then you can use whatever settings you want here it really does not matter i'm going to turn the quality down to scalable and turn off the starter content because it's not necessary for this call it whatever you want save it wherever you want and then create let it do its thing and it should start up visual studio 2013. if it starts up the editor don't worry about this this is just an extension that i'm using that's saying that it's out of date it's not going to apply to you um, if it ends up opening the editor instead of Visual Studio 2013, then in the editor, you can go to uh, File and then Start Visual Studio. And it should open up your project in Visual Studio. And you can tell that it has your project loaded because it says My Project on the right here. Now, uh, if you have Unreal VS installed, you should see this bar up here. If you don't have it installed, which you shouldn't by default, I mean, if you're just getting Visual Studio now, then you don't have uh, Unreal VS installed to it. But you can install that by going to um, the engine folder, so your Unreal Engine install folder. Go to the version that you're using, go to Engine, go to Extras, and then go to Unreal VS. And then you choose the version of Visual Studio that you're using, whether it's 2012 or 2013. And then you can double click on that uh, v6 and that should install the extension into visual studio and you're going to want to use development editor on windows if you are using windows obviously i should um, make sure that you all know that i'm using windows so this tutorial is very windows centric um, i'm sure it's not too much different if you're using xcode on mac or whatever it is linux users use i'm sorry i don't know um, but this tutorial is going to be for Windows users, just because I don't have a Mac or Linux system to um, show you with. I apologize. So, after you have those things set up, you need to install Unity. I'm sorry, you need to install iTween for Unreal Engine 4. So, uh, you should have downloaded it from the internet, and then you can use the installer, you can install it yourself. But you need to install it as um, I'm a Blueprinter exclusively. Don't install the C++ version. You need to go to the 
iTunes folder, open up the installer, choose I'm a Blueprinter exclusively. You can use whatever options you want for these. And then you can just browse to your folder, uh, to your project. But I already know my project's name, so I'm just going to do input that. There you go. Unreal Projects, my project. We will install. And that will install the plugin version. But now what you need to do before you go any further is head back to your project and then right click on the U project. So it should be uh, the name of your project, dot U project. Right click and then generate Visual Studio project files. This should update your Visual Studio solution. And then when you go back to Visual Studio, it'll ask you to reload, just reload all. And now when you open it up, you should see a plugins folder and iTween. And then inside of source, iTween, private, you'll have the whole um, iTween source. And this does not um, allow iTween to work with your new engine version automatically, you do have to compile it. How do you compile it? Well, there are a few different ways. Uh, the first one that I like to use is just to right click on my project and then choose build. And it will um, build the solution for your new engine version. And that includes the iTween uh, binary. Uh, you can choose rebuild or then or clean and then build if you are a little paranoid and think that maybe your uh, files won't be updated. Um, sometimes that is true, but generally I find that just using build does the trick. And lastly, you can click on local windows debugger if that actually says local windows debugger. Sometimes it doesn't. Um, and that should build and then launch your new project in your new engine version. Uh, we're just going to choose build this time. And the build can take a while. I found that on my computer, or my laptop rather, it takes about seven minutes. So I'm not going to sit here and wait for that, uh, just for the sake of everyone's sanity. Um, but when it's finished building, you can just go back into your plugins folder for your project, go to iTween, go to binaries, Win64, and there should be the new uh, DLL. So you just need to copy that DLL into your new um, iTween folder. So let's pretend that this build is finished and that I'm using 4.7 preview or a higher version than I have compiled for right now. All you gotta do is copy this after it's done building, head back into your iTween plugins folder, go into the iTween, go into the binaries, go into Win64, and then just replace the one that's in here. The one that's in here as of the time of this recording is again um, compiled for 4.6.1. Uh, just replace the one in there, and then every time that you install from here on out, it will install the version for your new engine version. If you don't want to change the one in the in the in the install folder you don't have to you can always change it on a per project basis so you have that version there you made for a 4.7 preview or whatever you go back to unreal projects and then you can go into whatever project that you have iTunes installed to let's say this one and then go into that's actually source built my apologies um, build Santiago does not have it in there all right well apparently I was uh, too ahead of myself and I already installed the source version for all of these, which makes sense. Um, if you're using the source version, again, you don't have to worry about uh, recompiling the plugin version because it will be part of your project's source. It will keep updated with your project, whereas the plugin version needs to be recompiled for a new engine version. Um, so you would just copy and paste it into your plugins, iTween, binaries, Win64 folder in whatever project you need to update. So if that all makes sense, and I hope it does, that 
is all that's required. If you have any more questions, please leave a comment below or find me on the forums, send me a private message or post right in the big iTween topic. Whatever you need to do to get it done, just do it. Don't, don't think about it. Just do it. It's the simplest thing.